My name is Liz Baker. Um, I think it's a good, I think the initiative is a good idea and I can only hope that it works. I think it's a, actually a great idea and I like the way we, we're calling it engagement now. I think it's, um, I think it's something that'll work. You know, we'll see, time will tell. How is this different than what has been stated in the past? Because in the past, it wasn't really community engagement. It wasn't, it was police approaching people and it was a different manner. Now it's, they're requiring, they're, they're calling for engagement, actual engagement with the community and not just, um, you know, the community's already apprehensive about dealing with police. So before it was policing and it was uh, old fashioned policing. Now I think the engagement part is more uh, a communal. I, I believe it will work. And do you feel like this time there are, are maybe more means to holding them accountable to what they're saying? Absolutely. I do. I do. But also we should chalk it up too that um, to, uh, the, the credit that we're trying to give is that there's been a, a year process mm -hmm. with community and law enforcement mm -hmm. um, meeting together um, being faithfully for a whole year. And, you know, what you heard the chief say um, when he started talking about the credit that he's given to the community and how he heard the community, we give credit to the chief for right. hearing that, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, because this has been a hard process. It's been a long process, it's a hard process. It's not over, but this is a great start. You know, um, as, you, as you heard the chief said also, is that instead of using enforcement, we use an engagement, mm -hmm. you know, um, words matter, right? And enforcement is all that authority and mm -hmm. you know that, mm -hmm. and that comes with that Great engagement job. is togetherness it's a, it's a whole feeling of togetherness mm -hmm. so um we're extremely proud you know um of chief Tenti and the for mayor hearing. for hearing you mm -hmm. know the community and, and and what this is going to look like and and let's not you know let's not be fooled like right? we understand that there's going to be some resistance right mm -hmm. we understand that because you don't break you know trust not is not built overnight like that mm -hmm. so this is going to take some work on both sides not just law enforcement but community as well mm -hmm. and hopefully we get to a point where we see our law enforcement as a part of our community and that's hopefully this is you know the first step towards that they were open to listen you know and that's the difference before it would be he said, she said. We sat down and we had a conversation. As difficult that is, as it might have been, we had a conversation and we moved to solutions. And now this is one of the solutions that's coming out of the conversation. And we are just asking as members of the community and as people that are you know, putting our feet on the ground, trying to be with both sides and listen to both sides and give the feedback, we're asking for the community to now engage the same way the police are bringing the opportunity, you know, taking the opportunity to engage. So we can't stay stagnant. We we cannot forget the past, but if we keep um, living in the past, we will never evolve. Mm -hmm. And if we want to see a better Kingston, the only way that we can do that is if everyone takes a chance and everyone moves towards the Kingston that we all, the law enforcement, as well as the community, keeps talking about that we see as a vision. And it's going to take unity to do that. Yeah, and with the lack of trust, that the community has for the police. The police have some work to do, but we do ask that the community just be patient and bear with us. Mm -hmm. It's our only time will tell if this is what's gonna work. It's step one towards hopefully right. more. Yeah. And if you cannot, if you're not fully willing to trust the police, trust us, members of the community that you know a lot of the community members know and know that we just wouldn't jump into something if we didn't think that there was some resolve to it. So we are involved because we are committed. We are Kingston strong. We live in this community. We have, you know, family members and we are grandparents and we just want to see a better community so that our children won't have to be sitting and having these meetings or our grandchildren. We will lay the, you know, we foundation want, along we, with the police. Yeah, we want to make sure our, our community is police correctly correctly yeah mm -hmm. that that's what's important